Say what? Uber tells its drivers to shut up and drive. So this week, Uber announced a new feature called Quiet Mode for Uber uh, Black and Uber SUV passengers. In this video, I'm gonna break down some of the details and stick around because at the end of the video, I'll share with you what I think of this new ride feature. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today we're gonna to talk about a new feature called Quiet Mode. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've already heard about it. In this video, I'm gonna give you some details, show you some screenshots, and then uh, tell you what I think of this new feature. All right, so this new feature is called Quiet Mode. And what you're gonna look at right here is what's, uh, what Uber is saying is uh, offered in this uh, new suite of offerings. So first there's Quiet Mode, where you can tell your driver that you don't want to talk or you want to chat or you have no preference uh, you can tell if you want to have help with your luggage you can tell them to make the car really cool or hot uh, and then there are a few other things there you can see uh, extended pickup period premium support professionalism consistent vehicle so those are the things that are now offered if you take an uber black ride second thing i want to do is show you exactly what this looks like so what you're seeing here is some screenshots from uh, an Uber Black request. So first you make the request, then it brings up the second uh, screenshot you see there, the ride preferences. And there you can control the, the conversation, the temperature and the bags. And then as you can see in the third screenshot, I actually made my choices. And this, is, this all happens, this happens before you uh, get matched with a driver. So you do all this, you hit confirm preferences, then it matches you up. Okay, third thing, what's the reaction to this? Well, it's mixed. Some passengers have said long overdue, they've wanted something like this. There are some female passengers that really love this because they've been hit on by assaholic drivers. That's, that's one reaction. The other reaction is my reaction, which is, I don't like it. I don't like being told what to do in the first place. And I certainly be, don't like being told that I can't talk or that I can talk. It's very, I've seen the term dehumanizing. And uh, that's how I feel. I'm grateful that Lyft has not done this, although they might. And I'm grateful that it's only in the Uber Black and the Uber Black SUV. So I don't even really have to deal with it because my little black Honda Accord <laughs> hybrid does not qualify to be an Uber Black car. But uh, it's a lot of different reactions, very controversial. So fourth thing I wanna say is that this is only for people that are willing to pay for it. It's pretty expensive. So what you're looking at now is, I looked at uh, booking a ride to the airport from my home. And as you can see, if I did the Uber pool, it would be $11.52. But uh, the Uber Black is $43.77. That's almost four times the price. So since the passenger is paying all that extra, does that kind of soften the blow? So they're paying a premium price in order to have more control over their ride. I don't know, that's a, that's a judgment you, I gotta leave up to you. I still don't like it. I think if you're gonna pay that extra price, Uber and Lyft should make sure that their drivers are trained, right? So obviously, if a passenger sits in the back of your car and doesn't want to talk, you can tell that. It's not that difficult. And um, if they do want to talk, then you have a conversation. So this is sort of sort of ridiculous, I think, in that this is a, a simple conversation, a simple interaction between two people, and it's now being controlled by a corporation uh, telling you, uh, through the passenger now, uh, how you should behave. This is just another example of how Uber and Lyft are dummying down the role of the driver. You know, even three years ago when I started, uh, there was a certain skill that was required. Long rides, pay, long rides on the freeway paid the highest dollars per hour, and it still does, but not as much, because what did they do? They lowered the per mile and they increased the per minute. We used to have legit surge where it was two times, three times, four times. Um, and if you could get a long ride, if you could time it right, you could really have like a really, what I call a unicorn, a really amazing ride. And there was a certain gamesmanship to it. Now those days are gone. Now you just gotta drive into a zone, boom, and it tells you you make a few dollars here and there. 
And now this, this is taking away the opportunity for the driver to shine, to have a conversation and to earn a better tip. Almost all my tips come from people that I have a conversation with. So when they eliminate this conversation with this new feature, um, that's gonna make tips fewer and far between. So in summary, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. And here's my idea, Uber. Why don't you come up with uh, some driver enhancements? How about you give us a quiet button so that we can uh, tell the passengers that when they get in the car to shut up, right? So I get tired of all the questions like, what's better, Uber or Lyft? Uh, how do you like being a driver? How much money do you make? Can you really make a living at this? What's been your longest ride? What's been your weirdest ride? All those questions, right? We're sort of like performers. I don't know how many times a day I get asked those questions. How about if we have a button? You know, I don't feel like talking today. I'm just gonna tell all my passengers to just get in, just say hello and sit in the back seat. Could you, could you do that for us, Uber? So that's my take. I don't like it. And I'm really grateful that Lyft isn't doing it. And if they do do it, and it comes down to our level where it's just regular Lyft and Uber, Uber X, well, then I've got to make a good decision. <laughs> so everybody, this is Jay Crater. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, go let us know. If you have a comment, I'd love to hear your comments on this quiet mode, which uh, just got released on the 15th of May, all over the country. So this is available all over the country. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this uh, YouTube channel, go give it, a, give it a subscribe, stay up to date, uh, join our team and be caught up on all that's happening in rideshare driving. Y'all have a great day and be safe out there.